Hello everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm going to be talking about sharing files with Microsoft Teams. And before we get started, just wanted to let you know that I'm posting new videos every week. So if you don't want to miss anything, then hit the subscribe button. All right, so I'm starting out Microsoft Teams and I'm in a team called Everest. And Everest has a single channel called General. And within that channel, I've got tabs, conversations, files and wiki. If I go to files, you can see I've got a single file uploaded to my team called report.doc. Uh, it's a Word document and I have options with that document. If I highlight it, go to the ellipsis, you can see I've got options to edit, to move, copy, download, delete and so on. So that's, that's sort of the context options you have for that document. Now to get documents into the team itself, you're going to either add new one or upload an existing one. So new is just simply a drop down where you can choose either a folder, you can divide them up into folders, or you can choose Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And you can see it's deliberately simple because what Microsoft's trying to do is make Teams the sort of the easy way of uploading and sharing documents. There are more advanced options which we'll look at in a minute when we have a look at SharePoint. So creating a new document is very simple. Uploading is just as simple. You just press the upload button, choose your document and click upload. Okay. And then you also notice you have this button called get a link. And when you click that, it gives you a link that you can then copy. And that's for the folder itself. You can see it's marked general there. That's the folder for the channel that this document is in. Now if I was to cancel that, just choose one of these documents and then choose get a link again, you can see I'm actually getting a link for the doc itself rather than the, the folder. Okay, you can also highlight a document and make it a tab and this actually adds the, the document itself to the top of the team so it's always available for everyone to see. Okay, so that's if it's a special document perhaps that you need to highlight. And another Thing I wanted to call out here is the fact that you can actually edit this document in Teams. So what that gives you is a kind of Word online view of the document that you can see you've got the Word online ribbon and the menu system and you can do your editing. You can edit in Word as well so if you had Word on the computer that you're using you could pop that open as well. But this is really good for if you've only got Teams and you don't have Office uh, fat client apps installed on the computer you're using this is really good for that. You can also start a conversation. So if you're working on this document with somebody else and you just want to have a side conversation, you can have a conversation and use all the you know normal chat tools that you used to in Teams. And when you're done, you can close and it takes you back to the, the general view. So I also wanted to talk about SharePoint. So Teams uses SharePoint as its default storage area. That means that when you upload a document into Teams, it's actually uploading it into SharePoint as well. So when I press on that open in SharePoint button, it's gonna open up a browser and take me to the SharePoint site. And you can see the two documents that have been uploaded into Teams are also available in SharePoint. Okay, now, with SharePoint, you have lots more options. So you can create other libraries and you can do a lot more other functionality. But to keep it simple, as simple as it possibly can be, you can use Teams for pretty much everything you need to. Okay. The last thing I wanted to talk about was cloud storage. And I mentioned SharePoint as the default storage area. You can add other storage areas if you want to. And when you click on add cloud storage, you'll see you get a list of storage options like SharePoint, Dropbox, Box, Google, and so on. So this allows you to use any of these storage areas as your storage provider. So you can upload a file and it could end up in your Box account rather than SharePoint. And you can also add other SharePoint sites as well. So in separate videos, I'll dive into each of these and how to configure them. But in this video, I just showed you simply how to use files and share them in Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching, and if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe, because I'll be posting new ones every week.